By the way, limit this is a video for you. I have the sound turned, or I mean the power turned off to the track. So when I turn on the power, and this is the uh, heavy Mercado. So you guys always ask this. So here you go. The item number is 4651. Like I say, it's a USRA Heavy Mikado, even though the Illinois Central technically never had these. I decaled it because that's the best I could find. I would eventually like to change that uh, sand sandbox on top and maybe some of the other relocate some of the things eventually someday. But um, unfortunately this locomotive, we've had it in your shop for repair twice. And don't get me wrong, I'm not bitching at you people. You did it fine job but again it it uh it got dirty running it on the river city model railroad track and uh, <clears throat> i had to clean it i noticed it was missing in springs now i don't know if that was something that happened or you guys did not necessarily faulting you things happen but um so you hear that Even being worse. That part right there, that thun 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 thun, it wasn't doing. I actually run this video, but I didn't realize I didn't push the record. So, uh, but, um, so I turned it off and turned it back on. I usually does the trick and then it'll go to making that sound right there but if you run it for a good little bit it'll take something like I don't know five minutes and then it'll eventually quit I mean you guys did a good job I think but when I come back, it still just didn't seem to run as it had in the past. And I don't really know what the reasoning was behind it. But I took it to the club. It I noticed it didn't have the power. It, it was pulling, but it just didn't seem to have the get up and go like it did when I bought it brand new and took it there and was running it on their tracks. So, I know my tracks are clean, so I don't have the uh, problem, because I cleaned them. Alright, let's go to this full throttle. Because you got to run it for a good little bit. And it usually seems to cut out. Now, 1645 that you guys repaired... That one's still running, just like, um, well, it's running better than actually when I got it, so, of course, I did put a new decoder in it, uh, maybe that has something to do with it, but actually, I'm thinking about, you know, if you'd offered that before, just go ahead and pay the money and upgrade to this Paragon 4, that's kind of the reason I hadn't done that, and I get that it required programming, and maybe something that's not covered under warranty, also something maybe that you're not allowed to do. I understand that. But I was hoping that, you know, I could maybe talk you guys into it, pay the money. I mean, I get that it's not going to be a warranty thing, but I'm willing to pay the money to do it.
Oh, do I make it? Do I make it? Oh, just barely. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's going to come out of it. I run and run and run this thing. I tightened up all the screws. going to be all right. It just took running it. Oh, there it goes. But now, yeah, see, you know, it's real quiet. I don't know what causes that. It's got the rest of the sounds. You can do the coupling. It can do the bell. Yeah, it's just like it. So, anyhow, um, I hope you watch this video. And if you know somebody that can put a backup light on it, and uh, program that under the Paragon 4, because that's what I'm probably going to have you do, is just pay the money and upgrade this thing to Paragon 4. But I was wanting to do a backup light. I'll buy all the parts and send it down with it, if that's what it takes. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to put a reverse light in it on the tender here. So anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helps in repairing this locomotive. And uh, thanks for all your hard work that you do. Bye-bye.